Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this together. First, pause the video and try it on your own. Alright, so they want us to solve the equation and show our work. So I always start by rewriting the whole problem. 0 0.4 times 2x plus 1 half equals 3. Now they use square brackets here, but it means the same things. I'm going to use parentheses. Uh, 0.2x plus negative 2. Plus negative 2 is the same as minus 2, so I'm going to rewrite that. Close parentheses minus 4. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is distribute here. Um, this is one of my first steps. And we'll take 0.4 and multiply it by 2x. 4 times 2 is 8, right? So 0.4 times 2 is a tenth of that. It's, um, sorry, 0 0.8. So it's 0 0.8x plus a half of 0.4, right? And you could use a calculator on this one. But 0.4 is 4 tenths or two-fifths, that's what, that's what point four is, and two-fifths times one-half is two over ten, which is one-fifth, equals three times two is six, so three times point two is zero point six x, right? and then three times negative two is minus six, and we're supposed to be subtracting four. Next I'm going to simplify minus six, minus four is minus ten, so you have zero point six x minus ten. On this side, 0.8x plus 1 fifth. Now what I'm going to do is um, subtract a fifth from both sides. right? So here, what's going to happen, and I'm, I'm running out of room, so I'm also simultaneously going to subtract 0.6x from both sides. And these cancel out. 0.8x minus 0.6x is 0.2x. This cancels out. And negative 10 minus a fifth is negative 10 and 1 fifth, right? So now we've got to solve for x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 0.2. And we get negative 10 and 1 fifth divided by 0 0.2. Now negative 10 and 1 fifth is the same as negative 51 fifths divided by 0 0.2. And this is where I might take the calculator out, though I don't need to. I'll show you both ways. I think we can get away with it. Um, so negative 51 divided by 5, um, hit enter, you can see it appearing right there, divided by 0.2, enter, and there's our answer, x is negative 51, x is negative 51, and of course we can solve this out of calculator, it's actually quite easy, shame on me for using a calculator, um, so here's why it's easy, um, negative I shouldn't say easy, I don't mean to insult, sorry. Um, I just mean that it cancels out nicely. Negative 51 fifths divided by 0.2 is really negative 51 fifths divided by 1 fifth, which is the same as negative 51 fifths times the reciprocal of 1 fifth, which is 5 over 1. And why is this, e why is this nice? Because these two 5s cancel out, and negative 51 divided by 1 is our answer. So there's some nice canceling happening right here. You want to think about why it works, but essentially we divide by a fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal. And if we're multiplying, we can cancel here to simplify or reduce it. And again, the only canceling here goes 5 divided by 5, it's just 1. If you don't like that, you can still multiply across negative 51 times 5, divided by 5 times 1, and you'll still see the answer is negative 51. All right, I hope this helped.